Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street um, Drumble, the modular groove box. So in this tutorial, I would like to show you how you to create another pattern. And in so doing, we will see additional features in Drumble. So let's click on the plus sign. Let's add three audio channels. <clears throat> for the first one, let's uh, click and scroll, search for Drumble, DRA will do for Drumble, here we are. On the second one, we do the same, we search for a U space, it will bring up the Tal Uno LX V2. And we'll do the same on the third one. <clears throat> okay, so we click on the settings here on the left hand side. Um, <clears throat> We choose to connect uh, this instance to Drumbo A1 as a MIDI source, and we get this channel to respond only on channel 3. We change the setting as well for channel number 2. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Um, and then um, we connect it to Drumbo, not to the keyboard. And we select it to respond only on uh, channel uh, 2. Perfect. <clears throat> so let's go back to Drumbo. Let's expand the window. So <clears throat> let's click uh, ensure we are on the first part. So track number 1. Let's click on the plus sign. And this, this time on the on generator, let's scroll down. And let's use the AN kick. So let's hear it. Okay, let's play, let's insert four steps, like so. Let's change a bit the settings to see what suits best. As you can see, you can change the tune, but also the decay, which is really good. Okay, we now created a first pattern Let's remove the loop. And if I click on that button, we can change the name, the number of times you repeat, the step per bit, and the bits in a pattern, which is interesting. We can also uh, use other option to insert pattern, duplicate, copy, paste, and remove. Let's click on the plus sign to create a second pattern. Then let's click on the pattern to activate it. And again, let's um, um, create a simple pattern again with four different steps. Of course, I could have copied uh, um, pattern number one to create pattern number two, but I thought this was easier. Let's check the settings of the pattern and let's set these to repeat four times. Now, if I click play, you will see we play once pattern number one and four times plus uh, pattern number two, and then it will move back to pattern number one. Perfect. As you can see, things uh, uh, works nicely. <clears throat> okay, so let's move to now track number two or pod number two. Let's click on the plus sign, then on the MIDI, and then let's select the MIDI output. Uh, ensure that the MIDI out is selected here, and let's choose channel number two. Okay, what I'd like to do is go back now inside each of the channel and select a appropriate preset. So, so let's go to the Juno factory. In this case, let's choose um, base one. And on the third channel, let's choose um, <coughs> string one. Okay. Let's go back into Drumbo and let's uh, hear the bass. Okay, let's bring up the keys. Let's change from C2 to C1. Maybe too low, let's go on F. Let's stay on F, okay, perfect. So let's hide again the keys. And um, <clears throat> let's insert something like um, um, <clears throat> on, uh, we are on part number two, by the way, uh, I like, and let's go back to pattern number one and let's go towards the end here, which we do 
an F and an F like so. And then we go to the second pattern and here we probably create um, a pattern like so. But let's bring up the keys, let's change these to a G and let's put the G there. And then here let's put a C and then select the B sharp in here. So let's hear what uh, it sounds like. Okay, let's go inside this instance. I don't particularly like the preset. So let's change that to perhaps uh, the second second base. Okay, let's try uh, this again. Better. <clears throat> now, let's go inside uh, um, here on the, uh, on the second channel. Let's click on the effect and let's uh, uh, open up an audio unit extension actually let's go to search for the R for Drumbo and insert a Drumbo effect let's click on this and let's add to make it more interesting <coughs> a bit of um, uh, chorus let's try And also in a bit of reverb. Let's go back to the first instance of Drumbo. Let's go to part number three. <clears throat> and in here, let's select uh, and show we are on pattern number one, which we leave as empty. Let's go to pattern number two. We click plus and add a MIDI output. Select the MIDI out and channel number three. Right, let's try. <laughs> Okay, let's insert a chord in here. So let's uh, uh, click on the plus ear sign. Let's do an F. A flat D. Actually. Like so, I inserted it on the first beat and on the third, then we click on the first beat and hold, and we change the length for the chord, and the same on this chord as well. And let's try. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. Now, um, let's... Um, uh, go out from this pattern. Let's go on the third channel. Let's add some effect as we've done before. Let's search for Drumbo again. Let's add just uh, a bit of reverb uh, from the processor here. <clears throat> here we go. And let's try. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to that instance of Drumbo. Let's um, click here on this button number two. Let's say duplicate this. So it has created now a second pattern, so, uh, or a third pattern, which is a copy of the second one. Let's go to it. Okay. And as you move from different... Um,
from di uh, between different tracks or parts you can see is an exact copy. Now on this one, what I'd like to do is, let's go back to the second one and let's change um, uh, the bass note here. Let's go to AC and let's put um, click and re-click like so. Uh, and put up, um, put up something like that. And then on the third part, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to change the chord to a C minor. So I click on the plus sign and I press the different keys. Okay, we added the two chord, let's change the length again. And we get these to play, ensure that it's played four times as well. So let's start again. Oops, here. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's click on the uh, second button. I would like to duplicate that. So let's click on it again. We just say copy. And then we go <clears throat> in here, press again uh, to bring up uh, the setting and click paste. Okay, so, and now on pattern number four, what I'd like to do is go to track number four and um, add um, a preset from the generator and let's select, uh, for example, drums, snare and stereo snare and let's insert that on pattern number two and four and um, let's also add, uh, uh, why not, on the processor a bit of uh, a reverb so let's try from the beginning again. As you can see, you can continue like this. You can add uh, multiple uh, patterns, more tracks, more instances in AUM, and you can add uh, more effects and so on and so forth. So you can create your own song. And when you finish, of course, you will uh, save your song uh, here, as self, uh, save as, as a project, so you can recall it whenever you need it. Um, so I hope you find you found this uh, tutorial interesting. I showed a number uh, uh, of new uh, features. So uh, the first one was uh, uh, the A and Kick device, and then we talked about how to add additional patterns here, how to duplicate some, and also how to copy and paste some of the patterns. Okay. See you next time. Enjoy. Bye.